the leaves change color and fall to the ground. As the rain enjoys its last few falls, before the raindrops freeze into snowflakes, the wind blows the trees violently, shaking even more dead leaves into the puddles on the wet gravel below. And we all observe it in sorrow through our windows, dreading the cold, harsh winter that's about to come. Adults become crybabies over the snow they're going to have to shovel. Tisk tisk. But the kids do have one more thing that they can look forward to. Halloween! The holiday where all the kids roam the neighborhood in search of candy. From the nice, welcoming neighbors. You know, the children skimp around the neighborhood with their empty pillowcases and their shitty plastic pumpkins that can barely hold three Snickers and the handle always falls off. What a joyous occasion. But really, I do have many fond memories of going out trick-or-treating when I was a kid. Um, you know, just a wee little lad with a tiny penis. So I have many fond memories from when I was a toddler till I was about, you know, 14 or 15 of Halloween. But now that I'm 17, Halloween fucking sucks! So you have these teeny tiny naive shitbags roaming in the neighborhood who want free stuff from adults or at least kids who are almost adults like me. I don't really think any of the adults actually realize how rude this is. They just say, well, it's tradition, so it's all right, you know? Tradition's tradition, you know? This is just a natural thing, you do this. But look at it this way. So say a 10-year-old chubby fuckwit walks up to your door on Halloween. You know, in his gay-ass costume, you know? They have no style. And you hand out the bowl for him to take his candy. He looks up at you with his chubby-ass face that greatly resembles a squirrel stocking up for the winter and asks, how many pieces? Let's just say three. The adult says, you can take three. And the fuckwit looks back up at the adult and asks, well, can you just give me the amount of money that three pieces of candy are worth? And the adult would think, fuck this kid. He wants my money. I work my ass off of that money. I don't put 12 hours into the power plant every single day so I can come home and give it to some fat ass 10 year old. Fuck this kid. But of course they don't say that. They'd say something more like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any money on me right now. <laughs> In genuine little fuck. But either way, you're giving them money. You paid money for this candy to just give away to kids. So you might as well just give them the money because you're doing the same thing. These kids are taking money from us. What the fuck? Now if you haven't guessed by now, I don't like kids. Of course there are exceptions, there are some okay kids out there. But for the most part, all they do is annoy the fuck out of me, I can't stand them, I'm not good with them. And that's that. And you're probably gonna say, oh, come on, you were a little kid at some point. I know, and I was annoying fuck at the time. All I did was zoom around the house annoying the shit out of my family because I was just a rambunctious fuck. That's pretty much all I was. And I know that. I might still be hyper and I might be a little bit out of control at times, but I don't annoy people. People laugh. That's why I make videos on here, because people laugh at them. You know, I'm just, I'm not, because I don't have that little kid sense of humor. They think everything's funny. I don't. They have no clue what a sense of humor even is. If you told them those words, they'd be like, what language are you speaking? And I might not be extremely funny, but people here on YouTube find me to be funny. I couldn't be a stand-up comedian, of course not, but I do try to entertain. And people seem to like it, so at least I'm using it toward my advantage, or your advantage, whatever. I get, I get joy out of making the videos, you enjoy watching the videos, so it works both ways. Then someone will probably come along and say, but come on, they're still growing up, their brains aren't even developed yet. I know that. And looking, you, you see a child, it's a 50-50 shot whether he'll turn out to be a douchebag or a pretty decent kid. But every child, for the most part, very small exceptions, but for the most part, all children during that stage of their life are just annoying and rambunctious as shit. Facts are facts. And then some parents let their kids go out with no adult as long as they have other friends with them. And of course, you can't get mad at every single one of them for coming to your house if you buy the candy and you turn your front light on. But a couple years where we've tried to not buy candy and we've kept the front light off so no one would come to the house, guess what these naive little kids do? They see the front lights off. They still stroll down our driveway and come fucking knocking at the front door. Hello, didn't they ever teach you? If the front light is out, don't go to the house! Jesus Christ, I probably knew that by the time I was four. Alright? These kids, like, this should be common sense, but no, of course it's not. So we don't buy any candy, we have the front light off, and we hear the doorbell ringing or the knocking at the door. Well, now what the fuck do we do? 
Now those of you watching are probably like, well, just ignore them and they'll go away. Don't go to the door, don't answer it. Yeah, little kids don't work that way. They knock or ring the doorbell until someone fucking answers. So if one of my parents goes to the front door, they'll be nice, they'll say, sorry guys, we don't have any candy. On the other hand, if I get to the door, you know what I do? I open the door and I said, we left the light off for a reason. They usually don't have too much to say to that. You know, while they're walking away, they'll be like, God, jeez, what a mean guy. Because I guess when it comes to kids, I do kind of have the old guy attitude. You know, the old lonely guy who just hates little kids. Hates them! Either that or he's a grandparent and loves little kids. Actually, I take that back. There's three different types of old men when it comes to little kids. You have the grandparent who just loves them and will spoil the fuck out of them. You have the old man who's just grumpy and mean-spirited and hates them. And then you have the pedophile. Can't believe I forgot that. I tell them straight. You can't fill kids' heads with bullshit and all the parents of these kids clearly do anyways, so... Why not add a little truth into their life, huh? Grow up with a fucking sense of reality. But see, the thing that renders holidays like Halloween and Easter completely useless is that once you reach a certain age, you can't participate in it anymore. You become too old. Now don't go thinking I hate holidays because I love like Christmas and Thanksgiving. I get all up in the holiday spirit. Oh my God, we need to go to the store and get decorations and we need to really get a nice tree and we need to get the fucking ornaments and you know, I get all into it. I love holidays like that. But once you're like 14, 15, Halloween and Easter are fucking useless. Sure, there are some people who are my age who you know, they can pull off dressing up in a costume that pretty much covers them up and can still go trick-or-treating and get candy, but not me. I'm six feet tall, I have a pretty low voice, I think, I just think that they would know that I'm too old and they'd be like, get the fuck out of here. You're too old for candy, so I can't do that. And some of you people are probably saying, well, why don't you go to Halloween parties? Well, first of all, I know no adults like family members that throw Halloween parties because they're pretty much like me. They might not all hate kids, but they, you know, it's like, well, once you reach a certain age, it's pointless. So that's out of the question. And any group of kids my age that are throwing a Halloween party are not my friends, and they're the kind of people who just want to drink and do drugs at parties, and I don't. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not a party guy, unless it's a few select friends that I trust. In that case, it's not really a party. It's more of a gathering. So, you know, that's out. And I find it just a little odd that in the most obese country in the world, they had to take a television character from a kid's show and change it from the cookie monster to the vegetable monster because of the obesity rates. Yet every single year on October 31st, there's a holiday where kids go out, the most impressionable, and get a shitload of free candy and scarf it down like there's no tomorrow. Eh, there's something wrong with that picture. And this brings me back to the tradition thing. A lot of people will say, well, it's just out of tradition. You can't just stop it like that. Yeah, you can, if it's going to solve a serious problem or at least help to contribute. I think that if they stopped doing Halloween, it would do at least a little bit more than changing the Cookie Monster to the Vegetable Monster because I guarantee you that did not do shit. That did not make one person say, my kid's too fat or I'm too fat and need to lose weight. I guarantee you it didn't do shit except piss people off who've been watching the show. Now, I'm not saying they should just downright stop Halloween. They shouldn't just cancel it. I'm just saying that if there's really a problem such as obesity going on, don't do a bunch of tiny useless things that's going to do nothing. At least make an effort to try to make a difference. Or just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone or do something big. That will actually make a difference. Don't do these little petty things that ain't going to do shit. I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate in this video. A lot of dislikes or whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't like it. I'm voicing my opinion. And that's really that. Let me know what you think of Halloween. I'd appreciate it. So I think it's pretty safe to say that all day Halloween, all night Halloween night, I will be sitting right here in my desk with all the blinds down. And I will not get up out of my seat unless I have to piss or shit. I will stay here and ignore everything. The one thing I do do every year for Halloween, though, is carve out a jack-o'-lantern. But this year I think I'm going to mix it up and send out a message to the kids. I'm going to carve out the letters GTFO. You know why? Because FUCK THESE KIDS! Have a nice day. Green Green Girls, come out to socialize! socialize.